single arm tool is devised to measure anomalous head posture which is crucial in the management of nystagmus and incomitent strabismus assessment includes three entities assessment of chin posture head tilt and face turn there are various methods described in literature this is a method using smartphone application of iphone through calibrated photographs the drawback of this method includes need for good knowledge about the positioning and calibration of the application and also the cost of iphone here is a device called chrome which is originally an orthopedic device to measure range of spine movement later this device is proved to be reliable for head posture assessment as well but the disadvantage is since it has to be worn over subjects it cannot be used in children and uncooperative patients apart from this the cost involved in this device is another major concern coming to the traditional goniometer it is a low cost simple handy device but this device is noted to have less reproducibility the reason is it has two arms among which the reference arm has to be hold parallel to the floor in case of chin posture measurement and perpendicular to the floor in case of head tilt measurement and parallel to wall in case of face turn measurement to overcome this disadvantage we have come up with clinometer based single arm tool let us see what is clinometer it is a device used by engineers to measure the heights of objects or buildings this device has a reference arm which is directed perpendicularly downwards influenced by the gravitational force and the interesting part is we can make our own clinometer let us see how to make it a protractor with a ready made central hole is taken a long plastic arm is attached to match the zero line of the protractor it is important to hang the weight in the fulcrum rather than tying it to the hole to allow free movement of the swing once the swing steadies to stop by the influence of gravity the reading is obtained directly from the protractor here using clinometer chin up posture is measured here one arm of our device has to be aligned with the lateral canthus of the patient and we need not worry about the reference arm the swing once it steadies it gives the value of deviation similarly chin down is also measured in the same way but one has to remember that the reading taken here is from perpendicular line rather than parallel line so we have to remove 90 degrees from chin up measurement and subtract the value measured from 90 degrees in case of chin down measurement coming to the measurement of head tilt here the difficulty with the original goniometer is when the examiner tries to align the reference arm perpendicular to the floor the reference arm comes in front of the other eye and causes inconvenience to the examiner and the patient so here when we use our single arm tool we are able to take the measurement by simply aligning one arm along the patient's face without hindrance the reference arm gravitates to give the reading coming to face turn measurement since it is measured in horizontal axis we cannot use clinometer here instead we take the direction of patient seating as a reference in this compass based goniometer we have a yoke dial and a movable arm attached to it first we will assess the direction of patient seating and set the zero value of yoke dial in that direction for example if the seat faces north the zero value of the yoke dial will be towards north and if it is east west or any other direction the zero value will be set accordingly now the patient will be made to sit and the movable arm is aligned along the patient's nose and reading is obtained directly from the yoke dial once zero value is set for a particular seating arrangement the position of the zero value is not going to change for that particular seating arrangement just one has to keep in mind that compass is aligned correctly that is the red pointer facing the letter north while taking measurement here using compass based single arm tool face turn is measured by using
using our single arm tool, multiple readings were taken out by different examiners. The results were found out to be more reliable. The difference between the readings of different examiners are equal to or less than 2 degrees. To conclude, Clinometer and Compass Assisted our Single Arm Tool is a low-cost simple device as that of conventional goniometer, but it adds more reliability to the measurements. It can be used wherever expensive chrome device cannot be accessed. Thank you all for your patient listening.